The Inventor Robotics Kit is designed for students to build, invent, code, and create. Skills for this tech-savvy world. Inside this kit, you will find the following pieces of equipment. 12 Lego Spike Prime, which are the large yellow boxes. 12 Makey Makey Kits, packed in pairs in these plastic cases. 12 Micro Bits, again packed two per box. And 12 Laptops, with case and charger. Accompanying the kit are two multi-port chargers, which you can charge up to 10 USB devices at a time. Great for the LEGO Spike Prime hubs. The Spike Prime from LEGO Education is a modular robotics kit that you can build and code into a great variety of STEM projects, as it comes with three types of sensors and two types of motors, and 528 pieces that you can build. It goes beyond wheel-based projects that you can build into health, entrepreneurship, business, and all sorts of life hacks. It's great for stages two and up, but of course some of your stage ones might be happy to learn with it as well. The Spike Prime robot sits between the introductory We Do robot and the advanced EV3 robot from LEGO Education. It's a flexible learning tool that fits across the curriculum, especially in science and maths. It's easy to start as it comes with a great app by the same name, Spike Prime, which is available on all platforms, Windows, Chromebook, iPad, and more. The second piece of technology is the Microbit. It's a very affordable card-sized computer that can be easily programmed to create all sorts of gadgets and inventions. It's jam-packed with so many features, 25 LED lights, two programmable buttons, accelerometer, compass, Bluetooth, and pin connections. What can you do with these features? Easily code it to create games, wearable technology, music projects, toys, science projects, digitally enhanced tools, and more. It's a great tool for learning our digital technologies curriculum. While not included in the Inventor Kit, you'll find lots of expansion kits and sensors for the Microbit, which makes it easy to link to every other learning area in the curriculum for stage two and above. One of the easiest ways to code the Microbit is to use the online site, MakeCode. It has those great projects previously mentioned and also tutorials to get your students started before venturing into harder open-ended projects. Thirdly, we have the Makey Makey which is an electronic invention kit. It allows you to take everyday objects and combine them with online coding platforms to create your own inventions, instruments, interactive installations, controllers, and more. It's great for learning to design, invent, and code. And it turns your fruits into instruments. You'll find that it looks like an old school generic gamepad, designed to allow you to use the inputs like game controls. By connecting conductors, materials that pass electricity, such as fruit, Play-Doh, and fellow human beings, in case you don't have copper, silver, or gold, you can code your own games, instruments, simulations, and you're able to recreate the digital world into your physical world. We recommend you use Tinker to code the Makey Makey as it's easy to use, free, and safe. Plus, we offer pro licenses for you to trial on our stem.t4l learning library. Go there to find out more. To code and program the robots and technology, there are 12 laptops included in the Inventor Robotics Kit. The Spike Prime uses its own app of the same name that is already installed in the supplied laptops. For MakeCode and Tinker, just use any of the modern web browsers included on the laptops, such as Microsoft Edge or Google Chrome. Of course, you can use any of your school's laptops or desktops for that. There's a lot of equipment to learn with we recommend that you divide the equipment with several classes and learn from each other's experience. This video is part of a series of support videos all about the kit that you have borrowed. To find the other videos in this series, head to the learning library and visit the kit page for the equipment you've borrowed. You can also find the full list of support videos for all of our kit on the YouTube channel. You can also join us in the Yammer community. If you have any questions or you'd like to ask teachers how they've used the equipment in their classroom, then why not join us on the STEM T4L Facebook community? It's a closed group. You can ask teachers how they've used the equipment and also share the work samples that your students have created.